This is CBS. Hello, I'm Steve Levy. This is a Channel 10 News snow update. Now, depending on where you are, the snow may be letting up just a bit. But to find out how much it's going to let up and what's going to happen, let's go down to Gene Crenet, our weather station. And Gene, you have the latest? Uh, yes, and you're right, Steve. If you're to the north and the west of the city, it may be still snowing where you are. Here on City Line Avenue and in Center City, it apparently is over, though we are told that there may be another inch or so in the terms of uh, kind of a lingering flurries before the afternoon is over. And depending on where you are, it's been as little as four inches or as much as eight inches. And uh, we've got some clear weather coming tomorrow. But in the meantime, we're just watching it go, go, and it's gone. Apparently, the worst is over. Steve? That is indeed good no news, Gene. But what's it uh, brought to us outside? What kinds of problems? What's going on right now? For that, let's go live to Dennis Wolverine. He's at Red Line and the Boulevard in the Northeast. Dennis? Well, Steve, the snow is all but over now, but the slushy, mushy, slippery ice is still causing a hazard, still slowing down traffic on main roads like Roosevelt right behind me. Uh, but the truth is, because of the snow, there isn't much traffic. We went into one of the neighborhoods a few minutes ago and confirmed the obvious, namely that a lot of people stayed home today. Some people are shoveling snow, kids are playing in the snow, and generally people are all taking it in stride. One guy said, it's not so bad. If you don't have anything important to do today, it's a rare chance for the whole family to get together. Steve? <laughs> That's certainly true, Dennis, and thank you very much. If you are going to be traveling, though, and don't want to drive or have to take mass transit, let me give you some numbers that you might want to call for specific information on your route. For SEPTA, you can reach them for information at 574-7800. And if you're taking PATCO, that's 922-4600. They should be able to tell you exactly what's happening, where you are going. And uh, we will update everything and have more information for you when we see you on the Channel 10 News at noon, about 30 minutes from now. I'm Steve Levy. We'll see you then. I'm Deborah Knapp. Join me one-on-one -on -one with John DeBella tonight.